back and uh, nandito po tayo sa ating 12:70 AM KNDI Radio. Tapos si Alan Alvarez ang inyong abang lingkod sitting in for Ate Edna today at ang kaniyang um, Kumpletos Ricardo's program. And uh, katulad na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina mga kaibigan, we have a very special guest today and uh, he is none other than uh, Mr. Uh, RJ Jamlam and uh, he is the uh, associate uh, sales director Associate Sales Director for SMDC International Properties in the Philippines. Ayan po mga kaibigan ay ang SM, the uh, SM Corporation. Ang alam natin ng mga SM malls and uh, everything great about SM. So uh, without further ado, please welcome guys, uh, Mr. RJ Jamlam. Hello sir, kamusta? Applause! Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat sa mga Hawaii. Aloha and magandang umaga sa lahat ng mga viewers natin dito sa Pilipinas. Yes, thank you very much, RJ. And uh, alam nyo, just recently, um, nandito po tayo sa ating um, uh, real estate show, real estate radio show. And uh, we were talking, well, of course, pinag-uusapan natin ang, uh, ang uh, Hawaiian properties. Pero uh, there's a lot of great opportunities going on right now para sa ating uh, mga baka interesadong bumili o mag-invest sa Pilipinas. And one of those companies na I think na um, that is, has integrity, uh, that has um, good reputation, solid, and I think that the top real estate company right now is SMDC in the Philippines. Um, what do you have for us today, RJ? Well, Alan, first off, I just want to get people up to speed with what's happening around the world, especially Philippine real estate market. You know, times have changed since the pre pre pandemic days and during the quarantine lockdown, what have you. Um, and people want to know what's going on with real estate selling or investment in the Philippines with all the COVID pandemic happening. And I'm happy to say that it's very much alive. The grass is green. Just recently, we got the report for 2020 sales and SMDC has sold around 48 billion pesos for the entire 2020. That's around 4 billion pesos per month or 80 million US dollars, if that's um, more familiar with you. We're talking around 800 condominiums sold in one month. And I'm not talking about the entire company yet. This is just one division. And that's around 28 condominiums per day. I mean, ask yourself right now, how many developers in Hawaii selling condominiums uh, can do 28 condominiums per day or in the US or anywhere around the world at this time of pandemic. So I'm glad to deliver that news to everybody that real estate investing is pretty much alive and kicking. So ibig mo sabihin, RJ, kahit na nandito tayo sa pandemia, uh, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang ating pagbenta ng mga condos uh, dyan sa Manila. Yes, surprisingly, nakapag-adapt agad ang SMDC during the pandemic. In fact, a recent report came out from Lichu Properties, an established real estate brokerage firm here in the Philippines. Ang um, disco discovery nila during the lockdown dito sa Pilipinas na nagsimula ng March 2020 onwards, around 50% of the entire sales ng buong industriya ng real estate nang gagaling sa isang malaking kompanya, SMDC. 50%, Alan, that's huge. Sila yung nakapag-adapt dito sa online selling that allows people to be able to buy condominiums, learn about it, reserve units, do the transaction, all from the confines of their own home. Online, online na tayo lahat, digital world na, Alan. That's fantastic, uh, RJ. And um, I don't positive yan eh. Positive and hopeful. Uh, kasi nga, you know, as we go through, habang dinadaanan natin itong pandemia, um, it's good to know na hindi naman forever to. You know, hindi naman forever. So, um, and... Forever, Alan. Sabi nga, huh? forever. <laughs> yeah, so, um, binanggit ko sa mga tagapakinig natin, pag-uusapan natin itong uh, mga properties sa MOA. Uh, because alam mo, SM Mall of Asia, that's... You can't go to Manila without going to SM Mall of Asia. So, um, pwedeng ipaalam mo sa mga taga-pakinig natin, RJ, uh, what's happening with the uh, properties at MOA? Well, I'd love, I'd love to ano, get everybody up to speed. I don't know sa mga Pilipino nating mga viewers dyan sa Hawaii, when was the last time you were in Mall of Asia area? 
right? If you can recall that time looking out into the ocean, nagumaling ka ng mga tao. Well, if matagal na, let me put you up to speed with what's happening. Actually, Alan, I don't know if this is better to be discussed if I had a, a visual, like a map that I can show. We have viewers online, di ba? Tama ba? Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, sa mga tagapakinig, uh, if you want to follow on Facebook Live, uh, punta lang po kayo sa Facebook. Uh, hanapin niyo si Alan Alvarez, yung may logo ng uh, KNDI. Click on that and we'll be live na live uh, with RJ here and the presentation on MOA. Okay, so if you guys are tuned in uh, visually uh, in our social media platforms, you can see in our screen right now that I'm flashing the map of Mall of Asia. But for those who don't have the visual, don't worry, I'm going to try to make it easy for you to catch up with us. So I just wanted to say that Mall of Asia is a huge flagship mall of SM. And nasa dulo siya mismo ng EDSA. If you look at my screen here, this is the EDSA, the main road, and Mall of Asia nasa dulo. But it's not just a mall, see? has been accompanied by a lot more than that. There's um, the famous arena where all the major sporting events happen. And, you know, Miss Universe, Jan din siya ginanap. And it's right beside Mall of Asia. Uh, what else is here? Uh, let, me, let me just show you here. All in the red, we got the longest restaurant strip in the entire country. That's for buffet food. If you love, gusto nyo kumain ng mga buffet, iba-ibang theme yan, Japanese, Filipino, uh, international cuisine. The, the, the longest restaurant chain is right there, right at the back of Mall of Asia. And um, a lot of expansion is happening. Museums are going to be happening. A football field right on top of the entire mall. We got uh, the SMX convention that holds a lot of events. Katabi lang mismo ng Mall of Asia yan. If you guys heard of the famous Pyro Olympics, this famous around the world international caliber brought around a million people uh, in Mall of Asia alone. That's done in this area. But that's not just, but that's not all that's happening in this area. You see, SM came out with these uh, condominiums and it's literally like walking distance to the mall. So we started, they started off with 1C residences and they now have like more than five condominiums that are walking distance there. What else is in the area? You have offices, um, yung, SM ng, yung office ng SM nandun na rin, walking distance right beside. We got the e-com buildings, one e-com, two e-com. You know, a lot of the call centers, Alan, are here and uh, they service a lot of their, their office needs as well as the Pogo industry. If you guys don't know, that's not the Pogo stick, okay? It stands for Philippine Offshore Gaming Operators. The famous, famous, sa madaling salita, ito yung mga online gambling uh, offices uh, made famous by a lot of the Chinese mainland people that, uh, flock, that, uh, that flocked to the Philippines in the past three years. Yun. So um, while we skip through some of the slides here, you see how nice the architect architectural designs of the offices are, winning so many awards. And, uh, you know, that's what really makes a mixed-use development, Alan, where you got, like, um, residential area, you have the malls catering to the convenience uh, and accessibility that people need. The offices are there, syempre, Monday to Friday, where you where are you going to go to the office? And you have yourself a school, the next national university is owned by SM na rin. So by the way, so meron na rin NU doon. Yung duty-free, pare, if you remember, nandun yun sa sukat. Ngayon nasa Mall of Asia, Katabi na siya ng Mall of Asia. Yung, yung the famous duty-free, syempre sa lahat ng mga balikbayan natin dyan, pagbalik niyo sa Pilipinas, that's probably one of the places you frequent right away. But if we zoom out of Mall of Asia, um, uh, sorry, okay lang ba, Alan? Tuloy-tuloy ako eh. You feel free to just no, talk me up here, man. I'm go just for it. Okay, go for people. it. Yep. So if you zoom out here in Mall of Asia area, yun lang bang meron? No, not really, because five-minute drive away, you'll see here, uh, the famous, what we call the entertainment city. And what is this about? Alam mo, kung ang USA, famous sa Las Vegas, mayroon din tayong tinatawag na Las Vegas of Asia. And kung before, nasa Macau yun. In the next future, it's gonna be here. Yes, sa Pilipinas na, ang next Las Vegas of Asia. Dito mismo sa Mall of Asia complex. It's just a five-minute drive away. It's called the entertainment city or Pagcore City. Nandun na actually yung mga ano, if you've been to Manila recently, nandun na yung Soler Casino, di ba? City of Dreams, Manila. It's a five-star hotel and a casino right there. There's Okada, 
huge, huge casino. All the major events also are done there. And Resorts World is also going to be here. So, kumbaga, uh, it, hindi lang tayo magiging famous for our beaches when it comes to tourist attraction. Alan, we're going to be a major gaming capital where tourists are going to flock over to the Philippines because of this. And I'm happy to say that it doesn't stop here. Alam mo, Alan, if you, if tinanaw mo yung nakatayo ka dun sa Mall of Asia and you're looking out into the ocean, yeah, hindi na magiging ocean yung, yung immediate sand area na yun because they're going to expand. Yes, they're going to reclaim land, 700 hectares worth of land, and it's going to be so huge. It's going to be three cities wide. Yes, Manila, Pasay, and Paranaque. Ganun siya kalawak. And what's, and what's going to happen there is amazing. I mean, I don't even have, I, we don't even have enough time to talk about all of them. But just in a nutshell, it's going to be more offices, more malls. The train station is going to go all the way there. They're going to come out with a new cruise ship. Lahat na mga, mga sosyali na mga cruise ships magda-dock na doon. And um, amusement parks, a Pac-Man stadium, everything. So imagine if you have an investment there, imagine the capital appreciation potential of that area. No wonder, Alan, all these billionaires in the Philippines are putting all their money in this area. Man, that's you know a lot to look forward to, uh, RJ. Um, habang nandito tayo sa pandemia, um, it's nice to see na many things are going on. Kahit na sabihin mo na nakasara ang mga ekonomiya ng mga sa buong mundo. Um, so what about these properties? Any specials going on right now? Well, you know, um, una una pag real estate investment, it's all about location, location, location. So the reason why we're talking about the location and the promise of the development that's going to happen in the future, that's what we need to know. In order for us to know, magandang investment ba yan o hindi? Well, with, with this story that I'm telling you and the development that's already happening, uh, we now look at the condominiums. Why condominiums? Kasi ayun na yung parang uso ngayon dun in the area. Wala na masyadong house and lot. Eh. Um, and right now, kung if you're looking into real estate investment, hindi ba mas okay kung mag invest ka ng may potential na location, but at the same time, maraming mga promos like discounts and payment terms. I mean, who doesn't love a discount, man? Everybody loves a discount, right? So, buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. <laughs> So yeah, two ways to earn. While I quickly scroll through my slide here, basics of real estate, di ba? Pwede kang bumili, pwede mong paupahan yan. Kesa naman iiwan natin yung pera natin sa banko, kikita lang yan ng 1% per annum. Basically, it's not earning at all. Whether it be placed in the mon placed in the Philippines or in Hawaii, that's not really a good place to keep your money to grow it. You can, you can put it in real estate, paupahan mo, it can earn around 8% per year, right? Now, um, if you look at my slide here, we'll see I categorized it into two types of properties that you can invest in, pre-selling and RFO. Pre-selling is basically uh, a condo that's still under construction. Pag binili mo siya ng ganito, ang advantage nito, mas mura siya. And you have a lot of payment terms, stretched pa siya. Low monthly amortization. Whereas the other one, ready for occupancy, kung nagmamadali ka, gusto mo nang gamitin, gusto mo nang paupahan, it's there available for you. Meron din tayo dyan. Okay, so here, just to give you guys an idea over there in Hawaii, makano bang investment natin sa Pilipinas? I'm talking about the primest location um, right now, the hottest, the one that's booming. Uh, hot, 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 Mall of Asia area, Bay Area, Bay City, and uh, 200,000 US dollars. That's about the typical price of a condominium there. That's about 342 square feet. And um, a typical one bedroom, yeah, one bedroom with balcony. And that's going for around $650 a month. That's right. Ang strength ng SMDC is in the payment terms. You can customize it first and foremost. Number two, uh, Henry C. Jr., the CEO, wants to make sure that all Filipinos anywhere around the world can easily buy a condominium. So he wants to make it very conducive to the pocket. So as you go further away, um, you see here, mga nine minute drive away. Not so bad, Alan. Nine minute drive from the epicenter of where the action's going at. Uh, you have here a one bedroom, um, 500 US dollars na. Oh, di ba? Now, for the promos, ito yung maganda. You have another uh, condominium. It's called Coast Residences. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. 
but uh, it's going on at around 136,000, 136,000 US dollars. But because of the promo discount, naging 129,000 na lang siya. O di ba? Compared to the $200,000 uh, at the epicenter, you just travel nine minutes away, you can already get one. That's 120,000 US dollars. We're talking a monthly of around 600 US dollars only. 600. Okay, Ben Alan, is that uh, something that's comfortable for the Filipinos in Hawaii? 600 US dollars a month? Um, we pay we pay much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I tell you, wow. uh, pero ito mga pinapakita natin, RJ. Uh, just just to clarify, uh, nagumpisa tayo kung nasaan mismo yung uh, Mall of Asia, right? So the residents there, uh, yun yung sinasabi mo mga two hundred thousand US, right? Yes. Yung uh, nandun mismo sa sa uh, Mall of Asia. Yun alan yung tipong magkakart. Konting cartwheel lang, nandun ka na sa Mall of Asia. Ganun. Tatalong ka lang, nandun na. Nandun ka na. Yes. Yeah. So, pero ang sinasabi mo, RJ, hindi lang yun ang mga properties na available na malapit sa Mall of Asia. If you go a little bit away, uh, sabihin natin, mga 10-minute drive, uh, bumababa na ang uh, presyo. Hindi na nasa 200,000. Bumababa tayo sa mga... 140? Mas sinabi mo? 139? That's correct. That's correct. So, uh, not just with SM, yeah? I'm talking real estate in general. Okay? If you're at exactly where the action is at, syempre, yung presyo, logically, nandun din. Premium yan, di ba? Lahat ng convenience and accessibility and all, all of that you get to enjoy. But as you go further away, pamura ng pamura yung presyo. Not just in the total price, but also the monthly. So I showed you guys kanina, nine minute drive away, the price already reduces significantly. Now, if $600 a month is good for you, it's, it's comfortable for your cash flow, by all means, go for it, right? But kung gusto mo, uh, uh, medyo ano yung cash flow mo, it must conducive for something lower, like 400 US dollars, or even a total package of 100,000 US dollars, kung mas comfortable ka doon. We have condominiums that are like 20 minutes. 20 minute, uh, 20 minute drive away. Uh, Meron kami, Alan. The, the next one is uh, Bloom Residences. It's right beside uh, Sukat Exit. Sukat Paranyahe Exit. So if you guys are familiar there, para sa mga Pilipino dyan, naalala niyo yung South Luzon Expressway. It's a major road in Manila. And uh, if you remember going down south towards Alabang, you'll pass by Sukat Exit first. And if you exit there, there's Bloom Residences right there. And there's a Skyway na. If you guys haven't been updated, there's a Skyway right on top of South Luzon Expressway. So this is, this, is what, this is what makes it the best accessibility because the Skyway ramp is typically like literally like right beside the development. So I know ba, Alan, I kwento ko lang really quickly. Uh, my friend was telling me he, was, he lives in Paranaque, some in Merville area, and there's a Skyway exit, uh, entrance there. And uh, he was like, a joy ride one day. And he goes, you know what? I'm just going to go at the Skyway, wherever it leads me. Nagulat siya. After 20 minutes, bagsak niya sa NLEX na siya. Because of this whole build, build, build program uh, by the, the government, right? Uh, they got construction happening left and right. Now you can travel from Paranaque all the way to NLEX in 20 minutes. So basically, if you have a property that's like right beside the Skyway, it will give you massive accessibility to not just the north, but like all the central business districts, anywhere, Makati, Mall of Asia, what have you. Alan, this is 400 US dollars a month. You can have a two bedroom in this area. It is five minutes from the nearest mall. Yes, may mall din doon, SMDF. And it puts you 20 minutes away from all the offices that you need to be. Okay, JR, paliwanag lang natin. Just because na hindi to centro, just because it's not at the center, um, hindi naman tayo tumitipid sa quality, right? I mean, we still have the quality, we still have the, the sturdiness, the design. Um, hindi naman tayo ganun, kahit na uh, out of the, the area tayo, di ba, RJ? Oh, yeah. Listen, um, let's, let's let the facts speak for it, yeah? Kung hindi maganda ang produkto, um, edi sana hindi 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 nakabenta ang SM ng 160,000 units all over the world. 
ever since it started, it has sold that many condominium units. If people are not satisfied, then they will not keep buying again. The ma majority of our uh, majority of our buyers are repeat buyers and referrers. So that says a, that says a, says a lot on its own. So you see, sa mo sa sa paranyake. Um, mga 100,000 yun? Yun sinasabi mo? Is that, is that what, did, did I hear you correct? That's correct. Uh, 100,000 uh, US dollars for the total price of a two-bedroom. Um, I'll share my screen. I'll just show the map. Uh, yeah, so th this is a two-bedroom, right? Two-bedroom. Yes, that's um, correct. Yeah, that's with, a, with a balcony? Or may balcony to or walang balcony? Pwede kang kumuha ng unit na may balcony, pwedeng wala. It's around 32 square meters um, in size. And yeah, so as compared to the one bedrooms, the one I told you about in Mall of Asia, puro mga one bedroom yon. Kasi ang direction ng SMDC parang sa Hong Kong style na eh. uh, Yung mga sizes ng condominium is like that. But here in Bloom, you get to enjoy bigger space. Mas mura na, Alan, mas malaki pa. So if you look at my screen here, um, ayan, select South Luzon Expressway on my right, yeah, and then at the exit, when you exit Sukat Road right here, you see this pink thing right here, that's the Skyway. Skyway ramp ends right here, and this weirdly looking pink shaped area right there, that's Bloom Residences. You'll see that only five, three minutes away, you'll see SMBF. Yes, for all you people from the South, What's up? South people will know where this is at and familiar. Uh, may hospital din dito, right beside. So yun, major selling point talaga nito is the Skyway. But also on top of that, this condo is kind of unique on its own because it's got a lot of like amenities. Uh, normal na yung swimming pool, alan eh. But this one, it's like malawak talaga yung uh, pwede nilang takbuhan, a lot of greenery. Uh, there's a basketball court. There's badminton courts. There's a skate park. I mean, what kind of condominium has a skate park? That's not very common, but this one has it. So it's very like uh, conducive for all the active people, the people with the active lifestyle and all that. So Yon, just flashing with you some of the screen, some of the stuff here. Yeah. Um, you see here, lastly, um, that the the lobby, and not just for this project, but for all SM projects. That's what makes SM projects different from other developers is the lobby. If you've ever been inside one, you guys out there listening, uh, may mapapansin nyo yung hotel lobby, ay yung lobby ng mga SM condos, parang hotel. Malawak. Uh, hindi ka mahihiya magpadala ng mga, kapit, mang, ng mga kaibigan mo doon. Uh, it's very classy. From pasok mo pa lang, uh, you're welcomed with, a, with class and a nice vibe. Okay, RJ. So, um, Binanggit mo rin sa akin na uh, may down payment, di ba? May, you have to put a down uh, down payment. Uh, but do you have properties here where you don't have to put a down payment? You can just start buying? Um, yes. And uh, speaking of the strength, once again, of SM, the flexibility of their payment terms allows uh, investors to buy a condominium with very little cash out. And what do I mean by little? Alan, when you reserve a condo, ganito lang siya kadali. Um, you sign the form. You give your ID, like your passport. And you give a reservation fee, 500 US dollars lang yun. And then the next question in people's mind is, nako, malaking down payment ang ilalagay ko. But not necessarily. For SM, we can go straight to monthly payments. E di ba? Parang bumili ka lang ng kotse. Dito, mga no down payment na mga signs. Uh, in the Philippines, may mga ganun. Dito sa condominium, ganun na rin. So pagkatapos ng 500 na reservation fee mo, diretso ka na sa $400 a month. The, I'm talking about this one, yung Bloom Residences nito, uh, yung two-bedroom na to. So you're gonna be paying that for 33 months, almost three years, and then tsaka mo na uh, uh, isasettle yung remaining balance mo na you can either pay for in cash or get a bank loan for. Or sell it. Or sell it right before turnover. Yeah, or sell it, yeah. Exactly. Before exactly. you turn, you can flip it before you, you can flip it before you even have to own it. Exactly. Uh, so ang ginagawa mo lang talaga, hinahawakan mo lang uh, hanggang uh, it's a good time to sell in the market. So ibig mo sabihin, JR, $500 lang ang kailangan to reserve. Yes. Tapos, 
pwede kang pumili na either magbayad ng 633 a month or you can do like 432 a month. Tama ba yun? Oh yeah. Whichever is more comfortable for your current cash flow situation. So ang maganda lang, Alan, is if you reserve it now, kung ano yung presyo niya ngayon, yun na yun. So alam naman natin, real estate, mahilig mag-appreciate in value yan, di ba? So as time goes by, pataas lang, pataas lang ng presyo. So if you lock it in now at the price that it is now, um, you have all that potential for capital appreciation when eventually you sell it again. Kikita ka na yun. All right, RJ. Thank you so much, bro. I have to go. Uh, it's, we're about one minute. Uh, you never know, really. Time goes by real quick. Pag mag-uusap tayo, lalo na if it's interesting. So thank you, Padre. Maraming salamat. And then uh, I just want to let everybody know, uh, we're going to try to get this uh, like a series to get more information on what's happening in the Philippines. And uh, maraming salamat sa inyong paghatid ng informasyon uh, tungkol sa SMDC, uh, uh, RJ. And uh, we look forward to more uh, from you coming soon. Good pleasure. Thank you. Mabuhay ka, pare. Stay safe and well. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Ito po si Alan Alvarez. Nagpapaalam, nagpapasalamat, at nagsasabi na mabuhay ang Pilipino sa Hawaii.